One, two, three. And we're just hitting those sevens on that one. So we're going to the open, bottom three strings open there. So we're going. Down, 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 and up, up. Because those are the up strokes with those beats. So one, two, three, four, and five, and. One, two, three, four, and, and. One, two, three, four, and, and. Seven. So at the end of that, you can count that seven. One, two, three, four, and, and. Seven. One, two, three, six, seven. One, two, three, four, and, and. Six, seven. One. So you can count the six and the seven if you prefer that. One, two, three, four, and, and. Seven. One, two, three, four, and, and. Six, seven. Now the next riff is going to go. to the other riff. So let's look at that. One, two, three, and four, and, and, and seven, and. Okay, we got one more riff, but I got to drop down to drop D tuning to get that next riff. Okay, here comes that little bass riff. bassy guitar riff I should say you know so we got the open D open open and then the A string 2 O and then we got the 4 O we're in drop D tuning so I dropped that E string down to a D 4 open open and then the pickup notes that's 4 open 2 so let's hear it with the other loop Seven, six. And then we got an E flat or D sharp minor seven. So and it's in six eight. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and that's a B seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's our main chords. One, two, three. Think it's a set of threes. Count you on that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is much of the song there. Just wanted to give you that little two chord thing because that goes on a long time. It can be a lot of fun just playing those two chords. Now, when you want to get into the solo, think about the D sharp or E flat minor pentatonic scale. So that's your minor pentatonic scale starting in the 11th fret, 11, 14, 11, 13, three times, 11, 14, 11, 14. And then remember, Zappa did these blues bends a lot where you got like your ring finger up here bending to the one note. And then you also have, he would do the stretch thing where you come into this higher position. Of course, you got those bend things. Okay, so that's just to get you kind of started in the solo scale you would need the E flat minor 7 to the B7 or D sharp minor 7 now sometimes he'll put a B9 on there so that's a 7 and muted A and then 7, 6, 7 and then there's that one little riff strictly commercial right so that riff is so it's a chromatic riff. You got six is a pickup note on an upbeat just before the new measure. And nine, eight, seven, six. And then nine, eight, seven. And then seven, six, seven. That's how I like to play it. 
I'll switch here to the ring finger. And then when I go there, I know I'm gonna move that one back, so I go to here, so I can get back. And then it's gonna be second string six. You got a chromatic thing. Six, nine, eight, seven, six. Now here we're gonna rake this little minor shape. So that was like eight, seven, and six, and you rake that. So you go quickly up the thing. Slide to the eight, and we got a ten on the second string. Strictly commercial. Now we're getting into Father Oblivion. Let's take a look at this first riff. So it's just eight eighth notes in that measure. We've got a two two pull off to the open. And then on the A string, that was on the D string, now we got four two O. Oh. And I pull off that two to open there. You can do it, you can do a lot quicker if you do those pull offs. And then we got a four to open on the big string. Two two O oh, four two O oh, four O. Oh. Then the next riff is going to be you got four and two. So that's four and two, four in the fourth string, two in the third string, and you wait until the uh of the two. So it's one e and a two e and a. That's when you come in one e and a two e and a. One e and a two e and a. And that part is like just after the four and two, you have an A power chord open in two and a G power chord. I just like to use those fingers myself so I can stay in position there. One e and a two e and a. 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 So then there's a lower riff that starts out like this. And then it has that riff in it. So we got O, O, three, four. And that's the D string, two, two, O. Okay, so we got three different things there we got. Try that, let's see, we'll do it nice and slow. Three and four and and then what about this one? Remember we would go one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a let's take that slow. Two, three, four. One e and a two e and a 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 So that's nine and seven here to the five and four same strings. One more riff for you. One, two. One, two. So that was zero to two on the fifth string. To the D string open, and then back to that. This time at the big E. One, two. All right, here goes Cosmic Debris. This one is in C minor pentatonic scale, for the most part. We're gonna have this riff. Okay, so we got 
C minor pentatonic, like I said, we got 10, 8, 10 on the D string. And it's got that swing feel to it. 10, 8, 10, and then 8 on the G string. And that's 10, 8, 10, 8 on the A string. So. Then we're going to go quick slide. Okay, that's your basic thing. Now you can do the riff here in the same octave if you want. Or you could jump up. That could have been an overdubbed guitar. Who knows? You could have jumped up there. So that whole intro is. So you got three, one, three, three. So that's three on the big string, one on the B flat on the A string. And then we just got that same pentatonic minor. So five on the D slide note. thing. Now we have C minor 7, D minor 7, E flat major 7. Back to the D minor 7. Then we got this little riff. So that's a little fun one. That's 11 and 11 to the 10 on the third string to the 11 12 and a little string. Back to the 10, and then 10, 10, 8, 8, and that's both on the third to first and third to first. So you do it mostly with your first finger there. You could go at that point. A lot of these things, these double stop things, end up happening with these two fingers. So you like that better, and you'll be about. Riff at the end there that goes. That's one, two, three, one, one. And then it's got a cool little blues ending at the end where you go up to like one half step, one fret above where that C7 would be. One of those things for the ending. So here goes apostrophe. First riff, 037 on the big string. You can hammer onto that three. To the D note here, fifth fret, A string. And then five, seven, five, seven. I use my pinky down there for that. That's the D string going to quick to nine from the seven and back. So 037, five, five, seven, five, seven, nine, seven. Have a 
a G to A to E minor twice. Then we got a D. We got that bass solo. Just does that a lot, and then that's gonna end with like a B chord down here. And that's like in your B minor pentatonic, you could do those double nines here on the second and third string. Then here comes a fancy little Zappa lead riff. So let's look at that. That's 5 2 0, oh, double pull off, double hammer on 0 oh, 5 7. One more 7. And then go to the open. Then we bend this 9 up. And we rake down 7 7 9 7. So basically you're coming from the C down to an F, almost in a doo-wop kind of thing. This is another like 6, 8, 12, 8 thing, sets, and sets of threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm going eight, eight, five, seven, eight, and then that slide into the ten, eight, and back to ten. C to the F. So when it gets into the solo, you could practice playing like the C to the F and stuff, but then when it gets to the solo, you can do your... You know, you got your C minor pentatonic there. So give that a shot, and then I got one more thing for the very end of this. So that's like a dragnet kind of thing from an old uh, cop show from like the 60s, 50s, whatever. So that's going to be 8, 5, 6, back to the 8, down to this 9 on the 5th string. Hey y'all, here goes a full lesson on how to play Pygmy Twilight by Frank Zappa. So the first little riff... So we're going to slide into the 7th fret of the G string, and then we're going to go for the 5 and 7 on the E string. And then we're going to go back to the G string, 7 and 4. And then we're going to go to the 7th fret of the D string, back to that 4 in the G string. And then we got 7, 4 on the G string, and then a little half step bend on that 7th fret to the 5th on the A string. So. Next part starts the same. A little bit of different timing there, different rhythm slightly. Back to that 7-4. Now we're going to slide up to this 11. So 11-11. Eleven, eleven. Two nines and then another 9 to 7. So all together. Now the next part, we're going to be right in this B minor pentatonic scale, and every now and again it'll use the, the flat fifth as well. So we got... So that was... 9, 7, 9 on the D to that 7 on the G. together we got and then we got so that 
that. It's kind of like the flat fifth, but with an extra little chromatic here in the D string. So we got D string, nine, eight, seven, A string, nine, eight, seven, five. So let's take the whole thing. Okay, so then our next part is going to be we got seven and then five and then A back to the seven. So, smoking in the pig me twilight. So, you got that little half step, that's your flat fifth. And then we got. helpful if you know the words because all these notes go right along with the words and the, the melodies match. So let's go through the whole thing one more time. Four times, right? All together, one more time. Seven six seven eight to E seven nine, which is down on the fifth string. Seven six seven seven seven. So that was like seven seven nine. they go to the next song dummy up one other thing uh, i've heard government mule cover this and they did a thing like um so he did the little double stops there he had the 11 and 10 and the third and second strings and the nines to the sevens on the second and third string so and then it could be more to make it sound a little bit bigger when he did it with the trio.
So we're descending in fours is what we're doing. We're starting on a D the first time, and then we're starting on the C the next time. Then we're starting on the A. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to this lower position so we have access to this lower note here instead of hitting that C over here in the eighth fret. even end up using the big low E string. So once again, that was descending four, starting on a D, then a C, then an A, and then a G. So we don't hit every set. We kind of skip the set that would have started on the E note. Instead of coming back up here to this E, we're gonna go. So one more time. Okay, and then it's got A minor seven chord, C to D, back to that riff. And as you can see, you can slide every now and again, you can pull one off every now and again. There's another riff in this tune where he's going to go. So if we look at that, that's that flat fifth of this A minor pentatonic when you add that flat fifth to it. So he's using that in there. And then there's another riff, kind of comes from, you've seen it in a bunch of other songs, like... It's kind of like the same thing a flat fifth does with that little chromatic, but on the string below. And it's still within kind of a minor pentatonic kind of context. So that's what he's using here. He's going. So once he's gone up using that flat fifth type of riff, he's going to come down with this extra string, this little chromatic thing too. And then you got a quick slide. And that's one of those bluesisms that Zappa was good at. So, and that's like your A minor seven chord, kind of muting that A string. You got five and fives. Kind of has this sort of. Rhythm. So let's get into another verse, A minor seven. C to D, that big main riff. So that would go twice, and then we'd be into the other riff. So let's slow that down one more time. Let's go. Let's start that together. Two and three and four and. Three and four and... And then we got the double kind of chromatic. So I'll 
together. Quick slide five to seven on the D, back to the five, and then quick slide from seven to five on the A string. Three, five, three, five. And when you land on that last five, you might go to that finger, so you hit that chord. So once again, that was, let's start that three and four and. So one more time, let's start on the verse. When I play it live, I just do it an extra one of those riffs. Find that A minor 9 there when you get that A minor 7 going, but you add that B note down there. First riff is going to be an E major chord to part of an F sharp chord. You could do the whole chord if you want, but I'm going to do this 4 3 2 in here 4 on the D, 3 on the G string, 2 on the B string. We're going to do bass, bass, and then a chord. That's your F sharp chord. So I'm just muting up here. And you want to mute those strings, the ones that you're not playing with other fingers and stuff. So that goes like four times. If you wanted to add something into that, you could put in a little. That's just a little E note on the D string, second fret. Would be the very last thing before that new measure if you wanted to add that. Or you just play it straight and simple. Now riff two over that 4-4 four, four riff of those two chords is going to go. So let's look at that. Now get used to this pattern here because there's going to be a lot of this kind of like a major third, but going to like a raised fourth, kind of like a Lydian mode type thing. So six, seven, six, eight, nine, eight, six. Then we're going to go. So that's that nine on the fifth string. Down to the six here. So we're gonna do that easy enough. Then we're gonna jump down a string. So it kind of starts the same. Six, seven, six, eight, nine, eight, six, nine. Then we're gonna jump to a new thing here. So that is an 11 note phrase that is gonna repeat over the next several bars and end up finishing on the one of a new measure eventually. So it's really puts everything feeling off kilter, even though it's still just a 4-4 four, four type of a feel. So we got, here goes that next riff there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. 
So you can kind of remember how that riff goes, and it's going to be four sets of that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to try to do that four times in a row. G sharp, ninth fret, second string. Here goes that full riff. We pop back into that. So we kind of come in, you could come back to that rhythm there, it's kind of like halfway through that first measure, but it would be four more measures of that, just like it was in the beginning. So let's do a little review of the whole beginning part. Three, four. Next part. six on the G string. So eight, six, eight, six on the B. So you're gonna do that twice. So this is going to be 13th fret, this is going to be a measure of 21 16. So those last two are not fast like the others are, so. Okay, so that was 21 things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then the last two are worth two each, and that gets you to 21. Then we're going to go back to this other riff. Now here we have a key change, so you're going to jump to that B flat note right there. And that B flat note is the high note of this A flat minor 6 chord. So we got four, six, and fours, all the way down to six at the bottom. So that six is also this 11 over here. So we kind of change keys for a little four bar solo right there. So let's look at that high part again. So let's look at those notes. 13, 14, 13, 15, 16. So you see how it goes down that scale. So the notes of the scale are So whenever that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five thing happens, it's always four sets in a row and then you move on to the next thing. So let's look at that solo there. So he'd be in like A flat minor at this point. And you could look at the notes of kind of like an A minor pentatonic, A flat minor pentatonic scale. Of course, you can always use a two in that scale also. Maybe the six you might stay away from. be there. So basically you're looking at an A flat minor 9. Then we're moving on to the next part. Okay, so that one is in 13 16. So it's other instrument plays that in the same time right after that like a like a echo like a repeat <laughs> <laughs> 
Now our next one is gonna be. So that was four in the D string. Four oh four one two one four two. So that first one was in 13, 16, and the next one is in 9, 16. Now here we're going to hit like D7 chord. You could just hit this 5, 7, 5 up top, or you could hit that whole D7 chord if you like. So let's look at the whole part again. D7. Okay, then we're going to move on to the next part. So our next part is in 6-8. It's going to start on the 12th fret of the D string. 12, 11, 9, 12, 10 on the A to the 9 down here on the D again. And then 9 on the A, 12 on the big E. So that's in 6, 8. 1 E and then 2 E and 3. So here goes a tricky one up top here. You almost want to get your first finger to get these three strings, the A all the way down to the G. Because you have different sets of things. So that's 14 to 16 on the G to the 15 on the B. And that one's a pull off on the G string, 16 to 14 to 16 on the D. So these little sets of tr threes kind of, but they're not like triplets, but they're like. So you got 14, 16 to 15, and then 16, 14 to 16. And then 14, 16, 14. And then it ends with. And that's just the B note there on the 14th fret A string to its octave down here. Okay, so that's that part. Now our next part is going to start here with the pinky on the 9th fret of the G string. So nine, eight, six, nine, seven, six, six. So you got your one riff, then you're going to do it again, but instead of ending on that note, you're going to go, so that's a six, seven on the D down to the six here on the G. going to go four times, then our next part is going to go down here to the seventh fret of the G string. So, seven, six, four, seven, five, four, four, to the seven on the A. Then we have... So we had nine, seven, seven, nine, seven... Got a little riff here at the end. Seven, ten, seven, nine, seven, nine. Or you can go down here. C sharp down here, so you go one two one two one two one two one two one two bump, and that's three on the G string, two five two on the B string. So you got 
And you can do that riff twice. The third time it's going to have a different ending. Look at what's happening with the second guitar when we're doing that 6-6 six, six thing. So at the same time that is happening, we got a riff going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I find it easier to kind of do it with fingers, but this is a tough riff. I haven't really tried that on stage or anything. So it's five, six, seven, seven, and then nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and then back. And you're gonna do that three times. And then after the third time of going up and down, you're gonna hit the chord. Five, six, seven, nine. Puts you back to that. Three, two, five, two. Three, two, five, two. Now we're going to have that third one has a different ending. two strings so we got to an A chord and the chords here are like one and one and we have back to those sixes Remember the other part, and that was. And then the third one's gonna have that different ending. step one and so that was a chord b chord and c sharp chord so then we start the final five time thing that's going to finish off the song here and if you use the this this just takes the same thing same type of fingering thing So you have the same thing each time, so if you get used to a down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. First we're going to start in the 7 of the A string. We go down to the low string there. 7, 7, 7, 9, 10. Then we're going to jump down a string to the 8. And then down a string to the 7. Down a string to the 8. And then down a string to the 7. And then an eight in the same string. 
and then nine on the second string, and ten on the second string. So let's look at all that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's take that nice and slow. So that's gonna be all fives too. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so a bunch of sets of fives. We got 12, 10, 13, 12, 10, 12, 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 10, 8, 7. 10, 8, 7, 8, 10, so. Then we start back with that other riff. And then we have the last part here. So this is a really tricky one. So we got 7, 7, D to A string there. That was a 9 on the D to a 10 and 10 on the A to D. So that was 7 on the G, 8 on the B. So we got. So then we get into a repeating pattern that goes over these fives and is not in fives. So it's real tricky, but on a guitar, if you just stick to the pattern, you play like through all those new downbeats without even worrying about it and you catch up at the end. So it's like. So one more time on that, we got seven, seven, nine, ten, ten. And then we got seven, eight, eight, seven, eight. And then we start into a new thing. So we got five, five, seven, seven. So I put in, it's almost like a sus chord thing. Then you can go up to that high note. Five, five, seven, seven, five, five. And then we move up to this ten, nine, ten, seven. And then we're gonna do the same thing here on the seventh fret. And on this one, we get the thirteenth fret, we go. That's your pattern, and even though it's not just set in the fives and it moves around a little bit. Okay, we got those little thirteens there. We're gonna do that four times. Bum, 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 bum. Then we go back to this descending riff all in fives. Back to the. Then we go to that more tricky one. So when you do that last one, you go 15, 15, bump, 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 bump. Okay, so let me take the whole ending of the fives thing. One, two, three, four, five. Sending riff again. 